So there are tons of cops lining the street right here. Hey everybody, I'm gonna take you all along with me as I explore the Virginia slash DC area. This is actually right after the insurrection and before the inauguration. So we are here the Saturday before the inauguration and um, I've heard some reports of some things being completely different and looking kind of weird, but um, we are going to see what that looks like. And if anything, looks different or not, you know, at least I can bring you all along with me. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this postcard to the post office and I'm actually gonna go pick up a surprise for my husband. It is also our anniversary, so we're gonna go do some fun things and don't mind my messy house, I literally have dirty clothes on the floor. Uh, I will clean up later. So it looks like we're gonna have about a high of 46 today, but it's currently 37 degrees. Oh my gosh, it's kinda cold. As an early riser, I loved getting out and about this morning and going to the post office was literally just my excuse to go for a quick walk and get some goodies to bring back home to my husband. But y'all, it was cold. It was extremely cold and this is something I am not used to after being an expat overseas for four years. All right, so I also went to Dunkin' Donuts right after going to the store and the post office so i'm really excited for these we've got a, what is this a sour cream glazed strawberry glazed a bavarian cream and a regular chocolate glazed moroccan mint tea for our tea choice of today we are definitely seeing an increase in military and national guard personnel they are I would say all over the place, um, but it is nice to see a little bit more security. Um, this is similar to kind of how it felt in some places around the world. We've got about eight minutes till our train arrives and there's no one here. I mean, I feel like we're gonna be the only ones on the whole entire train. Uh, I don't know why it's so dead, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I'd rather not encounter anything or anybody. Just like let us enjoy your day. There's a lot of walking, but. We did. Paint. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so how do your feet feel? Good, great. Right? Like I'm walking on clouds. He's walking on clouds. So oh, good. So really good. Um, it was a really good kind of tour. We're hopping on a bus. I got hand sanitizer, by the way. So if you need hand sanitizer or whatever, we're safe. And um, we hopped on this bus to go to Georgetown because it's free. So we're gonna see what else is open. And um, yeah, there's there's a lot to do today for a Saturday. our surprise everything was pretty much open like it always has been the free circular bus that runs through georgetown was open and ready for business we decided to hop on and it was a really great ride it was great to see the sights and reminisce on such a beautiful day to explore the city a little bit like the Arlington area and we're downtown in in Washington right now by the, we're like Georgetown almost downtown now so yeah this is definitely a place to come for the summer for sure um, but yeah I think now we're about to head 
back to the metro and head back to our house. Let's talk about what DC physically looks like right now. Restaurants and shops are currently boarded up as you're getting closer to the DC center. And there is in fact increased police presence along with the National Guard that I mentioned earlier in this video. Tensions are high, things are honestly a little weird, kind of bare, kind of ominous and eerie, but if you're situationally aware, you should not have a problem if you decide to venture out. But I would caution you to make that choice based on your level of comfort and know that anything can happen during this time. So we went to Mason's Famous Lobster Rolls place, I guess that's what it's called, Mason's Lobsters, and we got a lobster roll. So I'm going to try this. It's my first time having a lobster roll, and I'm excited to try this. Oh wow, this is nice. It's on like a piece of what looks like Texas toast, and it's got like a nice little sauce, maybe like a mayo sauce, and then the lobster is just coming through. All right, let's try it. Mm. Oh wow. Lobster tastes kind of weird, but I like it. The lobster is like chewy. Interesting. Chewy and meaty. Good or weird? It's, a, it's good and weird. I think I definitely need another bite. But my favorite thing, I think, is the bread with the sauce. So, okay. pretty good. Just give it one more time. Mm. I don't know. Lobsters is just, it's it's so new to me right now. I would say, for right now, I give this like an eight and a half 